Robots have been in the news a lot lately, and a recent poll found that a third of the UK public is concerned that robots will take over their jobs. But what about robots in the home? The personal robotics market is steadily increasing and is expected to exceed $19 billion by 2017. One of the most popular robots for the home is a robot vacuum cleaner, which can autonomously clean your home with very little human input. I've spoken with Avril Murphy, the European Vice President of NITO Robotics, to find out more about who uses these robots and why. NITO Robotics was started by a group of robotics engineers from Stanford University. They wanted to use robots to perform human chores, but at an affordable price. The technology they developed for their vacuum cleaners, called BotVision, uses a laser guide system to map out the home in 360 degrees. This enables the machine to avoid obstacles and dangers like stairs. Looking at the overall market sizing, the potential market is about a $7 billion market in the overall vacuum cleaning segment. Um, globally, they estimate about between 10 and 15% of that is actually robotics. Um, a third coming from um, the Americas region, a third in Europe and a third in Asia, with a very high penetration in countries such as Japan. In Europe, we've seen a lot of the southern European countries embracing this category, specifically France is one of the biggest markets in Europe, Spain and Italy likewise, and um, also in Scandinavia. Specifically, the Scandinavian market has been very interesting. They've done a lot of research in trying to modernize their welfare. They have a growing, aging population, and they are looking to deploy robotic vacuum cleaners in old people's homes to actually do the cleaning and we have now almost 30% of our users are over 55 years of age. So generally just helping out in the home. So it is just a very, very broad spectrum of people. Maybe in countries like the UK, I've, you know, my experience has seen that it's actually been a slower adoption than other countries such as Southern Europe and Scandinavia as an example. You know, I think maybe as a culture we're a bit more skeptical on, you know, how good can this robot really perform and, you know, take the place of doing my vacuuming. As things evolve, we can imagine it even doing more, adding cameras to it. You know, have you forgotten to close the window? How are the pets doing at home? You know, what is the house looking like? And you could just have that base of being able to see inside your home and actually uh, manipulate it remotely. You can see healthcare, um, governments, um, farming, household chores, but I think, um, you know, as long as there's other elements, um, you know, that we add to our jobs, then I think, you know, there's certain things that robots may not be able to ever do. It will take a while before robots are able to do everything for us, at least in the UK, but it also depends on people's willingness to allow these machines into their daily lives. Thanks for tuning in, and for all your technology news, be sure to log on to ibtimes.co.uk slash technology.